Hey you guys, this is Nina back again. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I am going um, putting up a new video. Follow me on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. And if you can, please donate the Cash App. My tag is money symbol Nina 44132. And without further delay, you guys, we are going to get started on this hot YouTube mess. I definitely did not want to report on it. However, I am actually starting to feel like somebody needs to really um, try to put this story to rest. So, as you guys know, Tasha K, uh, moving toward 800,000 subscribers, has found herself again on the end of YouTube drama concerning Armand Wiggins and daytime tea time of all people. Somehow Storm Moreau got mixed up in this. I'm going to try to cover it all the best I can. However, I do want to say I think most of this is pretty petty and I really feel like this is wasted time between all of them. They literally have well over a million subscribers and I really think if we want to be united up in YouTube everybody need to get their stuff together everybody we have to start supporting each other and we have to understand that there is money to be made all around not just for one person but for everybody and to just keep going back and forth the way that this story has actually kicked up air is quite unbelievable. So let me just try to make sense of this mess. <laughs> all right. I'm going to try to explain what kicked off all this drama. This drama actually goes back a few years. Rapper Cardi B uh, sued Tasha K over the Star Marie story. Thus, uh, alienating um, people back and forth between who said what, who did what. People still don't know if Star Marie was lying, if she was telling the truth. Um, Tasha K lost some YouTube friendships behind this. And literally, the story has evolved into Tasha K and Cardi B suing each other. Tasha K recently went on her backup channel and just totally went off on Cardi about, I guess, uh, Cardi didn't respond to whatever she needed to respond to in court. Tasha K not being happy with it. Now, I'm not sure if this mess is what triggered what happened afterwards. It's kind of hard to put this together with so many videos uh, floating around right now. But I'm going to try to keep up with this. So, at the center of this was the Cardi B and Tasha K back and forth lawsuit. All right, now in comes Armand Wiggins into this situation. All right, so Armand Wiggins, um, he's another popular YouTuber, slightly controversial, and him. Storm Marie, which is Tasha K's uh, YouTube friend that she helped mentor and pull his numbers up. Um, allegations have been flying around now, basically, from several titles of Armand videos that, you know, Tasha K is broke. I will not play any of it. I'm sure you guys have seen it if you're watching this. And so now there's been back and forth, very petty, over if she's broke or if she's not broke. Now, again, I try to do this as neutral as possible. Quite frankly, I personally don't care if somebody is actually broke or not. I do feel like Tasha K has several projects she's doing. Armand is trying to expand his business. And, you know... um. Even Wiley got Storm Marie and Tasha K on the phone 
and he aired this. I don't know if this is still up on his channel, but I did see it when it aired with a Storm Monroe and Tasha K discussing the drama that was going on with Daytime Tea Time because I guess Tasha was upset that Daytime Tea Time is in heavy support of Armand, thus, you know, making comments on his channel or sending him money. You know, I really didn't see what was bad about that. However, Tasha K did say she was upset because she thought Daytime Tea Time was sending subliminals, negative subliminals, back toward her after they made peace, after they had fallen out about a year ago or something. If you guys are all still following this, this is craziness. So, even Camille's Corner has come out. She did a video. <clears throat> this is concerning the Tasha K. situation. I don't understand why the Patreon is that big of a deal that even a video had to be made. You know, you can be in agreement with her entertainment slash gossip channel. I do remember Tasha K personally saying several times, because I do actually watch all of these YouTubers. Tasha K did say several times that she did not want to take um, money from her subscribers, but she's happy when she get it. However, Camille Corner did a video that basically explained uh, that someone made uh, took screenshots and spent $15 to subscribe to Tasha's Patreon when it was basically uh, that inside receipts that Tasha K was talking about uh, really wasn't there. So it was kind of like wasting your money to go on her Patreon for this exclusive gossip. And Camille Corner said it was very uh, misleading. You know, quite frankly, I'm not paying for any Patreon just for exclusive gossip. Um, honestly, that's just me. That has nothing to do with Tasha K. Um, my thing is, as long as TMZ is still putting it out for free, I'm going to get it for free. As long as I can go to other gossip websites and get it for free, I'll go to those websites. Now... I would support the Patreon maybe if it had a different type of vibe, but to put out just, you know, just to get receipts about celebrities, you know, I'm not really that interested personally. And that actually goes for any blogger. That's not just for Tasha K. So again, I'm trying to stay as neutral as possible. It seems like the whole internet is just like ganging on up on Tasha K. Another thing was, um, I really couldn't find the videos on this one. I think I either missed it or it was deleted, where people were saying that Storm Marie, Storm, excuse me, can't even talk, Storm Monroe released Tasha K's income. And quite frankly, I don't know if this is true or not, but honestly, it's nobody's business. I know that, you know, white YouTubers release their income all the time. I get it. You know, and I've seen some black channels do it too. But usually the channels I've seen that do it is because they're like business or entrepreneurial type of channels where they're trying to show you how to grow a business per se. And they're not actually just showing you how much they make to brag. So there's a difference. So I have, you know, releasing mon monetary figures is not like something shocking or new. However, I just don't feel like it's appropriate. I do feel like your finances is private information. The public, the whole public don't need to know about your tax records. That's just my opinion. But anyway, I just think that between what's going on with Tasha K and Armand, Tasha K and Daytime T, now Tasha K and Camille Corner, you know, 
it's a little bit too much. A little bit too, too much. Um, you guys can have your opinion about Tasha K, and I'm about to share mine. This is how I feel. There are so many things happening to African Americans right now in this country. Between the violence between ourselves, the police brutality, the protest, the coronavirus. We got all this stuff going on right now. These channels would all be best served trying to come together, build some type of benefit or mutual platform where maybe people can even come in just to donate to a central cause to help a lot of black businesses that have either had to shut down and they're unable to open or maybe to help some people that are out of work that need food. You know, there are better ways to use these huge platforms besides catfighting back and forth. That's how I feel. All this salaciousness going on right now. I just feel like the atmosphere is just inappropriate for it. And a lot of it is petty. A lot of it is just drama that is unnecessary. And I'm really hoping that all, all the people that have some type of voice, platform, channel, whatever... I hope that we all can start having some type of unified voice. There's money to be made in all types of areas. We don't have to just come after each other like this. And those are my words. Like, share, and subscribe. And if anything else happened, I guess I'll make a part two. I waited this long because I was really not interested, but Goodness gracious, this story just keep going on and on and on. Every time I turn on YouTube at this point, it's one of the four, like discussing one of the four. It's craziness. So tell me your thoughts, like, share, sub, like I said. Until next time, you guys, be safe. Enjoy your evening.